If you hunt with a 6.5, like I do, you're gonna wanna check out this new hunting projectile from Berger. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm talking about the all new 156 grain Elite Hunter Bullet from Berger. This is built on their same hybrid ogive design. It's got a ballistic coefficient of 0.347. It works with one and eight twist, and it's got great lethal ballistics. I'll go more into detail on that in just a little bit. I got my hands on a box of these, and I've already done some shooting. Here's a quick sneak peek for you. This is my Uinta Precision Upper 10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. It's got a 26 inch barrel. It works with an AR-10 lower. This thing is amazing and I've just been breaking it in. Did a little bit of shooting with these new bullets. Want to show you those results. Right away, I started to see promising results with this Uinta Precision Upper 10 and these Berger 156 grain bullets. I saw three shots go into 0.34 inches right off the get-go, and in this string of five, I put five shots in under 0.7 inches. So the screenshot I just showed you is from the Shot Marker system. Now, Shot Marker is an e-target system that not only gives you shot placement and group size as you're shooting, but it also gives you velocity data. So you'll see the velocity for each shot, you'll see your standard deviation as you're shooting. And here we had a velocity of 24.29 on average, and that's at the target. So if we work that back to the firing line at the muzzle, we would probably be at around 25.50, I would say. And considering I haven't done any load development, I took the 95% load level for some data that I got directly from Berger. These are great results. And if I was to go through an entire load development sequence, and really concentrate on shooting for groups, I could see this easily being a half MOA bullet. I'm at 0.69 with one of these first groups that I shot. I tried a couple different powders. I'll walk you through the components real quick. It's using brand new Lapua brass, uh, small rifle primer. I tried two powders, H4350, which is kind of the classic for 6.5 Creedmoor, and then I used N560. Got a little bit better results with N560. Pretty comparable accuracy from the limited testing I was able to do. I only had one box of these bullets, but the SD was smaller with the N560. I had a couple groups that were down around 5.7, 5.4 feet per second. So I feel like with you know a little bit of work with this kind of a load, working with different you know seating depths for the distance to the lands and some different powder charges, maybe ladder test, uh, I could easily see this being a half MOA load that I've started working with here in this particular Uinta Precision Upper 10 rifle. And that's well within, even the 0.69 is definitely reasonable for hunting uh, to certain distances, long distances. Because <laughs> for me, I'm hunting bear, right? And the target zone on a bear, the vitals is pretty generously sized. So it's gonna be much more a factor of, do I have something semi-stable to shoot off of and is the bear running or is the bear walking or is the bear still? Uh, those are gonna be probably for me the bigger factors. And the fact that this bullet has a bit more knockdown power, I would assume because it's a 156 grain bullet, you know, last year I hunted with a 143 grain ELDX bullet from Hornady, which did a great job. This is an interesting new option. But I wanted to work through some of the data that I put together, both from uh, measurements that I took and from the dope card that I calculated from the Berger website. This is the Berger Ballistic Calculator. So with this calculation, uh, with a muzzle velocity of 2650, which I think is definitely attainable giving, given some of the data that I've seen uh, from Berger, uh, at 100 yards we're at 2520, I was at 2429, I was at under max charge, so I think that's uh, pretty realistic. Uh, if we look at you know, 600 yards, we're still at 1925. 900 yards, we're at 1607, and at 1,000, we're 1507. We're still supersonic at 1,000. That is crazy. Now, I talked with Berger about this bullet and what you need for reliable expansion. And they said about 1,600 feet per second or more. And that means that this bullet could be lethal at 900 yards in this rifle. That is impressive. I'm not recommending that anyone shoots an animal at 900 yards. If you're 
at 600 yards or beyond, you really have to be confident in your skills. You have to know what you're doing. You have to make sure that it's an ethical shot. Are the conditions ethical? You know, how windy is it? All of that. What's impressive about this bullet is that it's at the top of the weight class and it's giving really good ballistic performance as we can see from the dope card. So I took a whole bunch of measurements in the lab because what I want to do for bullet reviews moving forward is give you more empirical data. I want to shoot groups, I want to take measurements and produce statistics from the bullets and uh, give you all a great idea of what the capabilities are. Now I can't test everything, can't test every rifle, every load, but here are some measurements that I took uh, in the lab and I literally gave these bullets the, the white glove treatment. The first thing I did, I measured the diameter with a micrometer with an accuracy of one ten thousandth of an inch. And I took the diameter reading in one spot and then I would rotate the bullet 90 degrees and take another measurement. And this gives you two different diameters to compare on each bullet and a bit more data points. And I'm using white gloves here because I didn't want to get fingerprints on the bullets uh, so that when I weighed them, there you know, might be a, a slight variation. Overkill, but kind of like it. <laughs> so in terms of the diameter data, the average bullet diameter should be around 264. It was 263.8. So it was two ten thousandths off on average. That is close. That is plenty good. <laughs> Uh, the standard deviation of, of bullet diameter was one, thousand, uh, one ten thousandth of an inch. Wow, that's a very small number. And the extreme spread was three ten thousandths. That tells you something about the level pr of precision for these burger bullets. The length data, uh, which I measured from, of course, the base to the tip, and this is a hollow point, so I'm expecting a little bit more variation here. The average was uh, 1.5147. The SD was 1.8 thousandths of an inch and the extreme spread was 6.7 thousandths of an inch. Again, I think that's because this is a hollow point boat tail. It's really the hollow point we're talking about. If this was like a polymer tip or metal tip or something like that, then I would have a different level of expectation for that number. And then the weight data, the fluctuation in weight is an indicator of the quality of the bullet. And as you saw recently here on the channel, We've got the FX120i lab scale, and this scale has a, an accuracy of two hundredths of a grain. That is a ridiculously tight tolerance to hold, a ridiculously accurate measurement to have for weight, and that's what we want when we evaluate something. So the average was 156.01. It was like 1.3 hundredths of a grain off. That is pretty amazing. Standard deviation was five hundredths of a grain and the extreme spread was 0.2 grains. So I would say that is really good data and I really think the only thing left for me is to take down an animal with one of these bullets. Now, I haven't fully decided uh, kind of which combination I'm going to be hunting with this year but I would love to see how you guys do with this bullet. Are you thinking about hunting with these Burger 156s? I would love to hear your feedback. I think this would be an absolutely great choice, especially if you want to be at the top of the weight class for any of the 6.5 cartridges like 6.5 PRC or 6.5 Greedmoor. So there you go. This is the first full in-depth hands-on look at the new Burger 156 bullets and I absolutely love these things. I might try and get my hands on a little bit more of them and do a little bit more work with them. I've got a lot of bullets to test. So make sure you subscribe with notifications. I got more content coming up here with the UNTOP Precision Upper 10, lots more 6.5 Creedmoor, some stuff I haven't even talked about yet. Uh, you're going to want to check out my white paper on 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, I've got a lot of great resources on ultimatereloader.com and through my partners. So. Again, subscribe with notifications. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.